In this video, I'm going to show you how to format phone numbers in Google Sheets. So Google Sheets does not really have any built-in features for formatting phone numbers currently, but there is a way to do it by just setting up a custom number format. So I have in my spreadsheet these unformatted numbers, which are phone numbers. Um, so these are going to be US style phone numbers, so it's a 10 digit number. Um, what I'm going to do to format these is I'm going to first highlight the range of cells that contains the numbers I want to format and then I'm going to select format and then I'm going to go to number and then at the bottom there's this more formats and what I want to do is set up a custom number format. So there's a few different ways we can set up this format depending on how we want it to look. I'm going to do just a US domestic style format first. So I'm going to put these um, pound signs around um, these or inside these parentheses. And then I'm going to do another set and put a space there with a dash and then the last four digits here and just apply and you can see this converts it into this US style format. So there's a few different other US style formats um, depending on how you want your phone number to look. I could remove the parentheses and just do dashes. Um, it's common to see phone numbers like that. Or um, if you want international style, you just put like a plus one at the front or if it's a totally different style format than a US um, phone number, you can just do basically um, these pound signs, or hashtags, number signs, whatever you want to call them in whatever format um, your phone number is and just set that as a custom number format with dashes. Um, you can do dots, parentheses, um, whatever else you need for your format, but that is basically uh, the best way to format phone numbers in Google Sheets. You can also set up a custom formula to do it, but that's a little more advanced. I'm not going to get into that today. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.